Hi guys, welcome to our second lesson of Scratch. Now we're going to be working on making Pong today. So we're going to look at about our first... How, where do we start? Now, we start with this button here that says Create. Now we're going through to Create and it will take us to a page that... Let's just Create. You, know, you can do this on any device. You can do it on an iPad, you can do it on... You know, this is why we're doing Scratch. Okay. Now, when we open it up, we see this page here. This is our game board and this is actually where we're programming to. This is what everything will look like eventually. Okay, you see we've got one carriage at the moment, we can get him a move around. Over the left hand side here we have our codes. Okay, this is what <coughs> this is this is what we want our characters to do. Now I'm actually going to delete this character and we're going to start with creating a background. Okay? Now when creating backdrops we go through here, we click right up here, which is backdrops. Okay, we can literally paint it on. Now I'm going to create a, t a soccer field because I think that'll be really cool to do Pong on a soccer field. Make it through to here. Okay, I'm gonna click on that. Convert to bitmap, see how I just like draw everything? Good, convert, convert to vector. Okay, now you put a white line down the middle. Uh, white line, is that white? No, it's black. Control Z works, there you go. Um, ah, there we go. White. White line straight down the center. It's not very thick, so let's make it thicker. Ah, a bit thicker again. Alright, that works. Now, I'll click back on the arrow, and I should move it through to the center, click down here. Okay, we have our center line. Let's put a circle around it because that looks good. Now, just create a perfect circle and you can move it afterwards. Dead center. There you go, and move my line a bit more to the left because it said dead center is actually there. Undo that. Move it to there. No, to there. There, that looks pretty good. Alright, and that's our backdrop. So we go to backdrop, we, we save this here and say field one. And then we get when we're done. It saves it automatically. Okay, so now I go click off, click back on, my backdrop's still the same. Okay, that's lesson one. Create a backdrop of what this is actually going to look like. In fact, I just thought I'd change something just so just to make things complicated. I'm going to put a white line down either side because I think it'll look good. Beautiful. Now I've got each side of the field. Okay, please do that and let me know when you're done. Please subscribe.